Hello there, this is the Bookkeeping Master on YouTube. In this video, I'm going to show you how to tidy up your ledgers on Sage Instant and Sage 50 accounts. When I refer to ledgers, I mean your customer ledger, your supplier ledger, and also the nominal ledger. These ledgers can get very untidy sometimes. Let me give you an example. Sometimes we may run a supplier report like an age creditors analysis. Let's preview this. Click OK and the report looks fine but we may have some suppliers like this one down the bottom here, Wiseman Paper Products. Well, there's actually only £240 outstanding on their account but you have a number of transactions, some of them dating back years like we have someone here dating back to 2009 and it's all untidy and we have a lot of information there that we don't need and if we look down the type of these transactions we have purchase invoices, we have payments on accounts and we have purchase credits all of which are just showing as outstanding on the account when that's not so what's happened here is payments have been made to the accounts, purchase credits have been put on the account also but they haven't been allocated to invoices or you may have invoices put on later than payments and invoices not allocated to the payments. So what we need to do is if we go over to bank, let's click on supplier, we'll bring Wiseman paper products up, put everything in date order. So here are all the transactions on their account, you can see there's a lot on them here. We just have to do a bit of investigation and see what payments should be allocated to what invoices and what credit notes should be allocated to what invoices. Um, so I would suggest looking at the date because um, generally these things happen around the same day to within 30 days of each other. Um, so right down the bottom here we have an obvious one, we have a, an invoice and a credit note both raised on the same day for £600. So all we need to do is click pay in full in both of them you should have a zero appear at the top here click save, click yes and they will now be allocated so if we bring Wiseman paper products up again go down to the bottom, those 600s have gone now we have this big payment at the end of the 30th of April 2009 and we have a number of invoices around that date and before that date so all I'm going to do is pay in full on all the invoices until we get to the bottom nearly there okay and the amount you can see there or down the bottom is 586813 we then have this payment on account for 586813 so it's obvious that this payment relates to these invoices so click pay and full on that payment you have zero at the top zero in the analysis total click save click yes bring up Wiseman again we now have a another credit note here for 3501 and an invoice on the same date for 3501 so let's pay in full on both of them, we have zero, we have zero, let's click save, there we go. And then we just have these two invoices remaining on their account, so that looks a lot tidier, we'd hold a list before. Now if we do that report that we run a minute ago, so let's do Wiseman Paper Products, the aged creditors analysis, let's do preview, okay, you'll see 240 pounds outstanding on their account. We don't have that huge list. We had all that information shown before, which was useless. Now we just know that there's this invoice outstanding for 240. So let's get rid of that. The same thing can happen on your customers. I won't bother running the report, but the same thing can happen on your customers. And it's the same process to clean up that ledger. Just use the customer icon bring up the customer, so A1 Design Services, you'll see there's a number of credit notes, invoices and payment on accounts. This one's very straightforward, we have a 12 and a 12 here, an invoice and a credit note, the credit notes 
14 days after the invoice, so it's very likely that they should be allocated to each other. And then we have two six on, then we have a, let's see. Yeah, so that's the only one on, on this account. So we'll click save, click yes. And that account is now more tidy. Now the other ledger that can get untidy, and this is something you may not notice unless you run management reports such as profit and loss, you may use some of the graphs on Sage, and untidy nominal ledger will show on those graphs and those reports and make them inaccurate. So what can make these things inaccurate is if we go on nominal record 5000, which is materials purchased, things in date order you'll see that the 11th of the 6th 2013 we had a sale of 500 pounds or dollars or whatever currency we use obviously that sale should not be booked to 5000 materials purchased it should be booked to a sales code but that hasn't happened so the way we would edit that and put it in the right code is one of two ways first way we make a note of this number here 1317 which is the sage transaction number we would then go into corrections find that transaction number and change the nominal code from 5000 to a 4000 sales code so 1317 corrections 1317 edit click yes edit again and here we go, nominal code 5000, find the 4000 sales code we want, so say it's 4001, sell, sell, self, click OK, save, and that's now done. The other way you could change that if you have a number of corrections to do is to enter journals by using that journal icon at the top there and deputing crediting the right accounts. Now this nominal ledger tidy up is something you would probably do at month end or year end more than something regularly the customer supply ledger you need to do that straight away you know if you want accurate age creditors and debtors analysis you need to do tidy up those ledgers straight away but hopefully that has helped thank you so much for watching when i go and train at a number of premises it surprised me how dirty these ledgers are just how much tidying up there is to do and people are so happy when I show them how to allocate payments to invoices and make their report, reports a lot tidier. Thank you again for watching. I now do online training. Um, I have a number of videos just like this one, but they're exclusive videos showing you everything on Sage you should need to know to run your accounts. I also do some extensive videos showing things like Sage Report Designer, Bank Reconciliations, VAT Returns. If you're interested in those things, head over to the website www.bbfs-online.com That's Bravo, Papa, Fox, Trot, Sierra-online.com Click on Online Sage Training and the prices are there. Um, and go and check them out. Thank you so much for watching. This is the Bookkeeper Master on YouTube.